Praise be Jesus Christ, the parable of the mustard seed is a bit of an amusing parable. Our Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 13, beginning in verse 31, says, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of shrubs. It becomes a large bush. The birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. And the reason it's a little amusing is Jesus says when it's full grown, it's the largest of shrubs. And you think to yourself, well, that's kind of not really that impressive. It's not the largest of trees. It's not a great oak tree or a great cedar tree. It's still just a shrub. And what I think the Lord is teaching us in this is that the kingdom of God does not belong to the impressive of this world to those who are great in the world's eyes. Remember, the kingdom of God belongs to children. Our Lord Jesus said, unless you become like children, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God belongs to the lowly. It belongs to the humble. It belongs to the poor. Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. It belongs to the childlike. So if we want to enter the kingdom of God, we need to beware of being too impressive, too mighty, too perfect in the world's eyes. If we look at church history, it's never good when the church does become too high and mighty, or when a diocese becomes too high and mighty, or when a movement, or when a community, or when a, a parish, or when a, a, a preacher, or whatever, becomes too high and mighty. Because the kingdom of God belongs to the poor, to the humble, not to the high and mighty. And so, as children of God who are seeking the kingdom, we need to be content with being God's poor, little, humble children. Remember, the Lord says, whoever exalts himself will be humbled. But whoever humbles himself will be exalted. And St. Paul said, God chose the foolish in the world to shame the wise. And he chose the weak in the world to shame the strong. And the Blessed Mother says, he has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. Viva Cristo.